Hey everyone, welcome to Pageant Professors. I'm Nicole and we are here with Kristen Rivas of Arabesque Jewelry. Thanks so much for coming. Thanks so much for having me, I'm really excited. Absolutely, so tell our viewers a little bit about your pageant history and how you got started with this awesome company. Well, I competed for the Miss America system. I was a local title holder for a number of years and my last year competing, I got this really gorgeous gown, a big Sherry Hill gown, and I was thinking, you know, I really need something to go with it. I started looking at the jewelry that was available that was custom and it was just a little bit out of my price range and I'm looking at the materials that were used and I was thinking to myself, you know, I could probably make something happen like this and my mom is really, really crafty so I called her up and I was like, you know, I think that we could do this and she made me this gorgeous pair of earrings and I had such a positive response from people. They saw them and they thought, oh my gosh, where did you get those? Yeah. Said, well, we made them. and. Um, people started saying, you know, if you make those for me, I would pay them, you know, I would pay for them. And so we started off a couple of years ago and it's really just grown exponentially because I think there's a really big market sure. for kind of custom jewelry that isn't super, super expensive. Yeah, I love it. Um, so we are in the middle of pageant season. Can you talk about some of your success stories or who you've worked with recently? We've had some really awesome success stories recently. We have two Miss America title holders this Yay! year that are going to be wearing our jewelry at Miss America and who won their titles wearing our best jewelry. We're really so excited. Awesome. Um, Joanna Guy in Maryland and Alan Rose in D.C. Both of them look so I know. fabulous and they're both going to rock at Miss, US, they Miss were, America. Obviously. I am so excited to see both of them. They're yeah. both really different and I like that they're such different contestants and you know we're really excited to go and support them in Vegas. It's going to yeah. be really awesome. So walk us through the process of when a client comes in, you know, how do you go about what how do you go about, you know, what their needs are and, you know, the final product really? So one of the things that we like to do is to like get a really good sense of the girl as a, as a whole package, yeah. not just, you know, individually what they're looking for, but to see, you know, what their style is like you know, what their specific needs are because some people, you know, are allergic or they have something that they want, you know, oh, they're, for example, Alan was a roller skater. So for her talent, she needed something that was not too big, but was big enough to go with her really awesome flapper costume, but wouldn't come flying off sure. as she was doing her thing. <laughs> so we try to make sure that we get a picture of the girl as a whole. And so if we're doing, especially if we're doing like a, a, a whole series for them, we try to make sure that it's like a cohesive picture. Yeah. Um, so that's one of the things that we do. And we also, you know, of course, look at color and we look at um, the shape of girls' faces because really yeah. everybody's face is so different. And so putting on a pair of earrings can really change the shape of yeah. your face depending on what you're doing with your hair and, and how your face is shaped. Yeah, no, definitely. So we, before we dive into some of the specific areas of competition, do you just have any general rules about jewelry that you can share with our viewers? You know, it's different for every girl. Every, every girl. I, I don't have any overall rules, but I definitely have rules for specific areas of competition. Got so it. We'll, we'll get to that. <laughs> what do you think is the biggest mistake that girls make with their jewelry during competition? I think not thinking about it. Yeah. Um, a lot of times girls will go and they'll pick something up and they'll go, oh, I like this. And then they get out on stage and they realize, you know, it doesn't look right. It's not, um, you know, picking up the light the way that they want it sure. to or the shape completely changes their face. And so just really not putting any thought to it. And that's not to say that you have to get, you know, really expensive custom jewelry, but just put some thought into it before you do it. Yeah. Gotcha. So we're talking face, structure, mm -hmm. um, color, color. Uh, metal. A lot of times girls will go and they'll say, oh, these are great crystal earrings. They don't realize that the, you know, the beading on their dress is, is metallic. Yeah, and so, you know, it's usually like silver or gold and so it doesn't match and it just looks totally different. So swimsuit. We have been seeing a lot of bolder jewelry this year, which I personally love and I know Priya and Ali are really big fans of. What is your advice? I love it. Um, I think obviously you have to take your personal style into account and some people like to go for a little bit more classic look, but I think that swimsuit is the one place where you can really have fun yeah. because you know, you're not worrying about talent, about getting you know, stuff stuck in your hair, sure. you just have to walk. And it's you know, always a more fun, upbeat walk. And I think that, um, you know, for example, a couple of years ago in Maryland, they wore these uh, black swimsuits that had bright fluorescent polka dots and girls went all out with their jewelry yeah. matching the fluorescent colors and that to me was so much fun. Obviously you still want to keep in mind that you want to enhance your you know, total package rather than detract from it, sure. but I think it's the best place to have fun. So can you go too far as like the earring plus the necklace with the bangle and an anklet and the toe ring, like Abs where can you, absolutely. where do you draw the line? 
<laughs> absolutely. Well, I think it's important to kind of center up. So I would say absolutely no anklets because I don't want anybody looking at my feet. This, it's been done and we've seen I it know. this year. Just saying. <laughs> um, I think there's, there's a couple things that you should think about. Um, first of all, you want to bring your attention back up to your features. Yeah. Um, and also you want to make sure that um, you're not making noise. Oh. Because a lot of times I'll see like girls. Yeah, yeah. A lot of times I'll see girls, and this is actually true for interview too, which we'll get to when yeah. we talk about interview. But I hate watching girls on stage. And a lot of times the music really isn't loud for yeah. the audience. It might be loud on stage, but you hear them clicking and clacking and moving all around. Yeah. And in addition to your shoes already, it's very distracting. Yeah. So you want to make sure that you're enhancing rather than detracting. I it. love that. I've never thought about the noise factor. Yeah. And the other thing is I like to ascribe to, I think it was Coco Chanel that said, look at yourself in the mirror and take one thing off uh, yeah. after you've put all That's of your stuff on. Role. That's always a good That's rule a to good go by. Role. She never want people to look at you and go, oh my God, she has so much stuff on. Yeah. Not good. Sometimes less is more. <laughs> exactly. So. so you talk about interview. Mm -hmm. uh, we got some specific questions yeah. uh, from Twitter. I'm actually going to look at the question right now. Um, at Getter Shelby said, what kind of jewelry should you wear for an interview? Well, interview is tricky. And again, it's one of those ones where you have to think about your personal style. The other thing is that they are, the judges are usually seeing you for a little bit more time and right. they're seeing you up close. So close. So again, less is more. I usually stick to, and I know you talked about a statement piece. Yeah. Um, for me, it's usually earrings. Yep. Um, but the other thing that people a lot of times don't think about is the trend now in um, interview wear is usually dresses. Yes. And a lot of times the dresses tend towards cocktail dresses. Uh -huh. Like not, you know, they, they, they walk that fine line. Yeah. And so a lot of times girls don't think about the fact that when they're putting that jewelry on, it should be something that is making the dress look interview rather than cocktail. cocktail. You know, they'll put something on that has a lot of bling and a lot of sparkle, which I mean, I love. Yeah, but sure. at the same time, you wanna make sure that you're saying the right thing with your outfit. And so you wanna make sure that that jewelry is helping you on that track. I totally agree. I have seen girls and where this is, you know, getting into evening gown, um, but you know, evening wear or evening jewelry in swimsuit and it just gets all jumbled up yeah. and it's very confusing. Yeah. You kind of want to think about each piece individually <laughs> and, and think about the statement that you're trying to make rather than just kind of like letting it all blend together. Yeah, no, definitely. So for evening gown, um, rhinestone earrings are really classic. Mm -hmm. Can you be too matchy matchy? Like I loved at Miss USA, Alan, mm -hmm. um, I guess two years ago, she had the gorgeous red gown and then she had these like great red earrings. So you know, what do you think? I don't think that you can be, well, I guess you can be too matchy matchy. <laughs> um, I do love the trend now that's coming in that is um, making your jewelry incorporate the colors yeah. that you're wearing. And yeah. that's a, a lot of what we do is working with girls to really custom match their dresses. And that's not to say that they won't have rhinestone worked into their yeah. um, their pieces. But um, I do think that a lot of times girls will go and they'll get um, pieces that like c come together as a set. Sure. Oh, and at, oh God, like the necklace with the earring. The necklace like the with the ring. earring and the bracelet and the yeah, ring. Yeah. And <laughs> at that point, yes, you have crossed into <laughs> way too matchy matchy. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, it's a fine line. Yeah, definitely. Um, but I, I love, I love the color trend. I think it's fabulous. Yeah. And we've actually had girls send us our earrings to remake with new colors in them. Nice. Which has been kind of fun. So what colors are you loving right now? We are like loving coral. We're loving turquoise. You're what, speaking my language. Really? <laughs> yes. Okay, oh my I love it. I, yeah, <laughs> really. Um, I'm trying to think if there's, a, I love coral. I love bright colors. Coral is, I really do. It's like stunning on everyone, I feel. I agree. I think everybody, well. Different shades. Exactly. Yeah. I was going to say, I know that Robin Fleming says to everyone, girls come in and they go, oh, you know, I can't wear yellow or I can't wear. Yeah. Everybody can wear every color. Yeah. You just have to find the right shade. So such good advice. Yeah. I love that. Um, while we... Do you have any of your designs today with us, perhaps? I do. Excellent. I'm Can really we fun take ones. a look? Yeah, let's play. Um, the first ones, I think it's appropriate to start with. Um, I talked about the earrings that my mom and I made the very first pair to go with my Cherry Hill gown. <gasps> These are them Hello. in the favorite turquoise shade. Um, Gorgeous. Yeah, I really, really like them. And actually, one of the fun things, I don't know if you can see it, but on the bottom here, it's got these little hearts, hearts. that were put on the end. Oh, my God. And they actually match this sort of tassel thing that I had going on on the front of the dress that had little hearts on them, which I love. 
It's all um, the details. I know. I love it. <laughs> Nobody could have seen it from stage, but I knew it was there. <laughs> she knew it was there. And that's one of the big things that we talk about is that you should feel really, really comfortable yeah. and really love what you're wearing. That's one of the things that my mom says all the time to our girls is that if you don't love something, tell us yeah. because we want to fix it because, and this is true for anything, you know, not just your jewelry, this yeah. is through, through every phase of competition is that you should love the way that you look and the way that you feel because yeah. that really does come through on stage. Oh, and so we've had girls where they're like, you know, this wasn't what I totally envisioned. And so we'll go back and we'll start over. Yeah. Um, and my mom is really great at that. She's oh, nice. like, she sees Just it in her head. A little yeah, bit. she sees it in her head and she'll she'll execute it and, and make it happen. So actually that goes into one of our other questions from Twitter. It was from at Jen Marie 125 and she said, is it better to wear longer earrings in evening gown? Again, it depends on the girl. Yeah. A lot of it depends. There's two big things is what you're going to do with your hair. Well, three. What you're going to do with your hair, the shape of your face, and your dress. Okay. Um, because a lot of times uh, girls will not think about what's going on in the top of their sure. dress here. And they'll have, you know, a really big long earring that's going to come down and either distract from what's going on in your dress or even get tangled. I've seen it happen. <gasps> you know, it gets worked oh, up underneath. No. Like, you know. And you're like. And you're walking like this. <laughs> not good it's not good no. um, so you want to you want to think about um, how your face is, is shaped so if you have a longer face I tell people that you want to make sure if you've got a longer face that you're not just going straight down you're okay. also moving out to oh. give your face a little bit more width rather than looking really long and narrow like it. could we look at these ones right here absolutely love this I think that's kind of like the width that you're talking about exactly so they're long they've got length to them but they've got a little bit more width yeah. and these are some of our favorites to do for swimsuit because they're really really fun yeah, and we do them in lots so of different fun. colors we did them for carly Kalala, miss maryland this yes. past year for miss america and um alan rose wore them for um miss dc awesome so they were really fun and i like the shape too it's like yeah so the I guess, is it square or yeah, it's, triangle? Yeah, it's, it's a diamond at the bottom yeah, and then the diamond. circle at the top. And it, so, yeah. I completely don't know my shapes. <laughs> it's okay. Don't worry. <laughs> um, but, yeah, it's, it's exactly what you're talking about is it gives you a little bit more width. Yeah. Um, and so it moves you out, uh, especially if you've got that sort of oval or narrow long yeah, face. So that's a good tip. one. We've got to talk about these blue ones. Those these are, are some of my favorite. <laughs> Um, so these are really, really awesome. They've got this like gorgeous cobalt color and that was, I, I actually wore these at Miss USA this year. Um, so pretty. And they ended up on TV. It was pretty cool. No big deal. No, you yeah. know, just millions of people <laughs> watching. Um, but I had this really fun dress that was turquoise and that had this cobalt blue on the inside. So um, pretty. And I love them. And I love this shape. I think this works really well on a lot of people because it does have a little bit of width to it. Yeah. Um, and I don't know. They're just... I just love that that top piece is so bold. It is really fun, and I don't know if you can tell, guys watching this, but it's got turquoise and purple on the inside, and so it matches just about everything. Yeah, it picks up the light. I love really, it. I can't. Well. Yeah. <laughs> and those last pieces are awesome. These happen to be my mom's favorites, really? and they are pretty fabulous. Um, these are definitely for somebody that you've got a little bit wider face because okay. they're very long and narrow. And narrow, yeah. But they are stunning, and they look awesome on stage they pick up the light because they've got this um sort of like really pave but with yeah. different shapes at the bottom and so it you know catches all kinds of sure, different it's so unique yeah i love them so. yay it's all of our fun bling <laughs> so we've heard who you've worked with recently mm -hmm. are there any other queens maybe current or that have reigned before that you're dying to work with um, well, we've got one really exciting one coming up. Um, can you tell us? I can. Um, <laughs> so we're getting ready to do actually wedding jewelry for <gasps> Caressa Cameron. Oh my God! Of Miss America from 2010. Love. Yeah, we just met with her and we designed all of her jewelry for herself. She's actually wearing three different pairs of earrings throughout the night, so. being very fabulous and having many costume changes. Absolutely. Um, and we're Why doing not? all of her bridesmaids jewelry and her lovely, very adorable flower girls. Oh my God. So we're Precious. really, really excited about That's that. That's awesome. Um, as for people that I'd like to work with in the future, um, you know, we were we would really love to start working with some national title holders. Yeah. I mean, but you know, that's everybody's dream, sure. right? <laughs> so um, I don't know if I have anybody in particular in mind. I yeah. mean, both systems for USA and America, yeah. which is who most of our clients end up being, yeah. are have such fabulous title holders. Nice. So. so tell our viewers where we can find you, how we can contact you. Yeah how we can set up a consultation. Yeah. Um, well, you can always reach me um, 
online on Twitter. On Twitter. <laughs> yes. Um, at Arabesque Jewelry. And then, of course, you can always find us on our website. It's just www.arabestjewelry.com. www.arabestjewelry.com. And then you can always email me. It's just Kristen at arabestjewelry.com. Excellent. Yeah. We'll be sure to pass that along to our viewers and make sure that they contact you. Is there anything else you wanted to chat I don't about? think I so. Like I, so fast. I know. I feel like it really, really did. Um, <laughs> I don't know if we... I guess we've talked about everything. Other Twitter questions. I was going to say, do we get everybody's oh, yeah. Twitter questions? Okay. One last question. At... Breezy Freezy. I love these Twitter names. I know. Breezy Freezy 864. Hoops or studs for swimsuit? Or oh. neither. I feel like you why know, limit yourself. It's true. Don't <laughs> limit yourself. Don't limit yourself. But I think, you know, we were talking about earlier, swimsuit is a place to have fun. Yeah. So I, I, I personally, I end up really usually liking hoops just because I think they're a little bit more fun and they sure. got a little more movement and I playfulness. Think you'll be able to see studs on stage too. Exactly. But at the same time, you know, we were talking about girls. A lot of times, girls like to go really classic in yeah. swimsuits. So I could see a pair of like larger studs working, sure. especially if you're planning on having your hair pulled hair back, yeah. which people like to do sometimes in a pony. Um, so I could see it working either yeah. way. Again, though, I'm going to go back to my mantra, which is to check out your face, yeah. figure out what shape it is, and also, you know, work on figuring out what your personal style okay, is. Okay, so let's review some of the roles. So it's almost like what they say about handbags. Like if you're a smaller girl, like you can go a bigger bag. Mm -hmm. If you're maybe medium size, like go with the smaller. So it seems to be like Yeah, it's definitely just a balance. Yeah, you wanna you wanna pick up a pair of earrings and put them up to your face and figure out how it makes your face look and how it makes you feel. Awesome. So do you do any Necklaces, bracelets. We do do necklaces okay. and bracelets. You know, it just ends up being usually that we talk about earrings. Earring, and, yeah, yeah. and I can't forget about the bracelet. I know. And actually, necklaces are a really big trend. And one of the things I can't believe I forgot to talk about. This. <laughs> so it's one kind of, of reminded you. I know. One of my <laughs> favorite, favorite, favorite looks from Miss USA was actually Nevada. Yeah. Oh my god. And gosh. she had that stunning <gasps> back necklace. How do you even describe that? It's a back necklace. Back necklace. Okay. Got it. It sounds really awkward. <laughs> Um, but it's gorgeous, yeah. and I thought that it did an amazing job of highlighting her and her features and drawing attention. I mean, we were there, and I don't remember if you, I, I don't know if you remember, but when she turned around, everyone in the audience like, gasped. Oh, yeah. Because it was stunning. I do think that she could have stood to take off one piece. Yeah. I don't remember which, but I remember <laughs> looking and going, okay, she could take one off, but I just loved her accessories. I thought they were gorgeous, and that back necklace was awesome. We actually have a bride who um, sent us a message and was like, hey, I want you to make back necklaces for all of my bridesmaids oh my after seeing that. I love that. Um, so I loved the way that looked. And I will say, this is another thing um, that I forgot to talk about with respect to necklaces, because, and I, actually, I think I had one girl ask me about it on Twitter. Yeah. Um, you want to make sure that the necklace is not cutting you off. Um, oh. Because a lot of girls will wear stuff that's right here, like they'll wear a choker, or yeah. they'll wear something here, and it totally cuts off your line. So right. generally speaking, I don't like necklaces yeah. in pageantry. And if it's going to be a necklace, I think it should be something like hers, where it was very low, and it didn't cut off her line. Because when you do that really close to your neck, it makes you look shorter. Like shorter. Yeah. It really does. And people don't even think about it like that. Um, you know, a lot of people know the thing about the shoes yeah. that make your leg look longer. It applies to But it really everything. does apply to a lot of other stuff. And so when you have that really close up to your neck, it just makes you look shorter. So don't do that. No, um, don't do it. That being said, if you have a necklace that's like, you know, a set of you know real sentimental value or something like that, that's going to make you really feel more confident on stage, then absolutely go, go for, for it. it. Yeah. Nice. Well, those are some good final pieces of advice. <laughs> so thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much for having me. Absolutely. Again, that was Kristen Rivas of Arabas Jewelry. Did you know that there are some really common mistakes that girls make during the evening gown portion of their competition? Click on the link in the description below and you'll be taken to our website for a free 30 minute long training course. By the end of it, you'll learn how to avoid these common mistakes and master the evening gown portion of your competition today.